change. We've seen worlds away from us here in Iowa City. In the next 16 weeks, you will be guided to learning the skills of a TV news journalist. You will master your own live shots, pitch your own stories, produce those stories and potentially a newscast. You will shoot and edit your own packages and report from a news conference. You will get hands-on training and participate in a breaking news situation. You will be prepared to succeed in the industry. Students from last semester have worked to encourage you to provide valuable tips on making it through the semester. So I had absolutely no idea what to expect going into this class. I hadn't done anything with um, with broadcast, so I really didn't know what I was uh, getting into. Um, but it sounded like something that was interesting and that I could learn more about. So starting at the beginning of the class, I was mortified. I was so scared. These like. People that had taken the class came in and they're like telling us what we, what's going to happen, how horrible it was. I was so scared. I, I, I thought about dropping it immediately. I think I was pretty, pretty overwhelmed, pretty scared for all the stuff we had to do. And I think at the very beginning, I was still very overwhelmed and not liking it. It's a lot of work to uh, shoot, edit, and everything. It's a lot. It's a lot of time. I mean, you gotta gotta get started on things early. Gotta write things out beforehand. It's, it makes it a lot more difficult to get everything done on time when you're here late at night, which isn't that much fun. It is just about organization. Research your stories. Make sure that you know the topic before you start to go interview your sources. Make sure that you're well versed in it. Make sure you know how to use the equipment, and also ask Angie if you have any questions about what you're checking out because. There was a time where I checked out a microphone. I thought it was something different and I had to learn on the fly how to use it. In the beginning of the year, I was so scared. Just to be on camera was terrifying. Um, I was so scared to use a microphone even. It got better. Being on camera is not scary anymore. Yeah, I mean, it definitely becomes easier to be a better critic. I mean, the stuff you go through learning the different sequences and just how, how your sound should be, natural sound, everything like that. And then when you see people aren't using it and they should be using it, then it's easier to be like, oh, why don't you have this in here? Why don't you have this kind of sequence here? Why is this shot blurry? Stuff like that. It, it becomes easier and then you know what you should do. So it's easier to tell other people what they should be doing as well. Um, be prepared, ask questions. Um, Angie and Charles are really here to help you and I think taking advantage of what they know, how they can help you, how to better succeed. The best advice I could give to someone going into this class would probably be just don't be afraid to give people your criticism and be honest with people. For starters, obviously, don't procrastinate. That's a, a lot of something I especially learned is because um, your packages can you know, really suffer as a result. So definitely make sure you get those interviews well, well in advance. And another big thing I learned is just to kind of have confidence in yourself because uh, if you're in, in the journalism school, you're a good writer and, you're, and you can report and edit. So I think it's just, it's definitely a learning uh, process, but you just need to uh, have a little confidence in yourself and be like, you know what, I, I can do this and just set the time for it and you, you can do it, you can, you can do it. <laughs> Take your workshop group seriously. Um, use the time accordingly. If you don't use the time, then it can be, you know, just everybody's kind of sitting around doing nothing when you have a package due. And you'll spend less long nights in the edit bay if you just get your work done and have people look at your work because that extra set of eyes can really notice things that you don't maybe necessarily see. So it's good to do that ahead of time. You definitely have to stay on top of everything. Don't get behind on things. I have um, that app on my phone, it's called like Notepad, and I am constantly writing pitches down on my phone, whether it's for class or for DI. So I'm constantly, every time I see something or I hear someone, I hear someone like talking about it at CVS, I'm like, oh, that would be a great idea. And I write it down. 
So I'll just always be looking for ideas, always be looking for packages. And I know for a fact that I'm never going to forget these classes. They're something that you have. Um, you make videos, so they're on t YouTube. You have something from these classes for forever, for your, any jobs that you apply to, um, anything. I think this is one of, like, hands down, uh, the course that's prepared me most. Above all else, come to class, participate, and actively engage in discussions, exercises, and workshop sessions. The more hands-on experience you practice, the more confident you will become.